Yo, what's good guys? It's Matt here today, and this is my post score tutorial. First, I'm going to be showing you guys the best animations. Now, first we're going to do dunks and layups. I would not select any part dunks or layups if I was you. And so first layups, the default bigs, that's simple. I mean, it gets you up high, it gets you open. If you're inside, you pretty much got it. Cradle dunks, also self-explanatory if you don't have those on, what you doing? Now, front clutches, they are the best for off of post spins and for driving dunks. For a post score, unblockable. The under basket athletic flushes, also pretty self explanatory. I mean, those are the fastest under the basket dunks. Under basket regular, same thing. Big man baseline reverses are great for off post spins, too. If you go to the other side of the hoop, they ain't blocking that shit. Big man tomahawks off one. I kind of just got those there because I haven't gotten blocked off them yet, and they're not bad. Basic one here's off one, and same with the big man off two. Both of those pretty much unblockable. Big man off two gets up high. Basic one handers, those just keeps it in front of him. Unblockable. Now we're gonna go to the shots here. Top shots don't really matter for y'all post scores. Jump shots just based on you. For the post phase, now we're gonna do Dirk and a whiskey. It's the fastest post fade, it creates the most space. Honestly, there is no other post fade in the game that I would like or would ever use. So you definitely wanna put this on. Now for the sky hook. The sky hook, once again, same as the last thing, it creates space. Like if nobody's touching you, it's going in every time. And you can hit from deep with that. You can it's just overpowered. Now post top shot ten. Easily the best top shot in the game. You can go pretty much any direction you want and it's quick. It, it's straight green lights, man. I mean I no other way of putting it. But also the post top shot one. Shout out to that boy by the way. This one, like I said, you can pretty much go any direction with this one too. Personally, I don't like it because it doesn't go as far, but that's the only other hop shot I would use in the game. Shimmy fade 10, it creates space. I know it's kind of slow, but I mostly only use the shimmy fade for up and unders, so I like the slowness because that way they think you're going up with it and it gets them to jump. Shimmy hook 3, fastest creates the most space. Unstoppable. I mean, I don't use that much. It's more of a bailout if you need it, but Shimmy Hook 3 definitely the best. Alright, so first we're going to be going into the post fade. Now, we already got the dirt, so basically for the post fade, all you got to do L2, right stick outward, and you can just aim that any direction you want. As you can see here, I'm just kind of showing you guys each direction you can go, how quick they are, and you see I'll get a couple bad meters because of the speed. But now, the best time to do a post fade is when somebody ain't touching you. If somebody ain't touching you, that's wide open. Even if you're coming in from, let's say, the left side and somebody's behind you, all right, they're going to keep trying to follow you in. And if you turn back out, that's just open every time. Go ahead and go check out my uh, post score mixtape. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, next we're going to be getting into the drop steps. The drop step, pretty simple. Make sure you're holding both L2 and R2. Left stick towards the baseline and tap square. All right, you see I get that nice spin like that. Usually I wait for him to jump because that gets you a nice easy dunk. But if you want, you can just go up right away by holding square right after you tap it. Now in a second here, I'm going to show you guys the drop step that you don't want to do because this is why you need to make sure your left stick is going towards the baseline. If he hops like that, most of the time they're going to stay in front of you and that ain't going to be open. All right, so now I'm going to be showing you all the shimmy shots and the up and under from the shimmy shots. So first of all, shimmy fade. All you got to do, L2, left stick outward, left stick outward, like I said. Double tap square, and there you go. Now, shimmy hook, you won't see it just yet, but here in a second, left stick going towards the basket, double tap square, and that's a shimmy hook. Now, normally I don't do the up and unders off the dirt post fade because it's so quick, and sometimes it'll like it'll make you go up either way, and you won't get a meter, and that's just tough. So basically, doing it off the shimmy, it gives you time. It usually gets them to jump because they see it coming, which usually you want to use that later in the game after they already seen you go up with the post fade or the hop shot, and it maximizes the skill using it. As you can see, I just got up and under there. I mean, basically with the up and unders, all you want to do is just, when you go up with it, make sure your left stick is going away from wherever they jump. So if they jump directly at you, make sure your left stick is going away from directly at you and just hold square. So real quick, I just want to show you guys how difficult it is to time the shimmy hook meter. Now most of the time the timing don't even matter. As long as you get it close, it's going in because it's going to be wide open every time. 
but it's just really hard shot to time and uh, if I were you I just practice that a little bit first so next is the hop shot hop shot pretty simple old L2 left stick in whatever direction that you are trying to go and tap square and then you, obviously you hold it when the shot comes up now where I was just standing right there left stick going out towards the top of the three-point line and it does that animation left to right it's going left to right and then if it's somewhere in between kind of going at the wing it's going to do a little short hop step which you'll see here in a second personally I don't recommend the hop shot to the left or right because it's slow I mean it's still going in if it's open but it's just slow and I don't like that I'm also going to break this down for you guys real quick because uh, shout out to my friend Cash he's struggling with this a little bit so like I said L2 left stick towards the top of the three point line tap square and then hold pretty simple Alright, so up next is the post spin. A lot of these things is pretty simple, which I mean it is, but not in all cases, thanks to all the spammers out there. So basically all you do, L2, spin with the right stick, either inside or out, don't matter. But if you're spinning outward, no matter which way you're going, I would switch so you're spinning towards the inside. See, because when you do that, spammers don't get as good of animation. So all you do to do that, right stick real quick to outside of wherever your player's at. Not like to the left or right, but like more towards the top, and changes your position. That move is also nice because sometimes it shags your defenders off you, lets you in for a nice easy dunk, layup, whatever. And so what I just did there, if you keep spamming uh, inside spins, basically that's going to keep pushing them back and doing that you're either going to get a nice open post fade like I just did there, or it's going to push them enough back so that they're under the hoop or something, you get a nice easy dunk. Pretty self-explanatory. And see, that's what I'm talking about right there, that move. If you spin towards the inside and then go back out the other way, they're already long gone inside the paint. That's just light work. Same thing there. Y'all seen that in my post score mixtape. Light work. That's another thing right there. If you Sometimes if you do the post spin into the drop step, it activates more badges, which is nice because the more badges you get, the higher chance you have of making it. So if you just push them inside, inside spin real quick into the drop step, that's nice. Same thing there, post hop shot. If I you, I do that from the left to right, inside spin, and then post hop shot to outside, whatever, whichever way you're going. So another thing to do important post scoring is going from the post into finishing inside. So for a lot of post scores and inside centers in general, it's hard to go from the post to a finish. Mainly because 2K hoes with that L2 button are going from post to finishing, and sometimes it'll either give you a hook like it just gave it to me there, or something else that you don't want, whether it's a fade or a drop step, just tapping or holding square, that, that changes everything. So one thing I'm going to show you guys real quick is going from that into the finish. So basically all you want to do is just... L2, basically the second you stop holding L2, you just want to hold down an R2 and square real quick. And if you see my post score mic tape, I do that a lot. I get a lot of nice contact dunks from that or inside dunks, and basically it just goes up quick. Now see, that was bad right there, but not much I can do about that. You see, I get it back here, and... Well, thanks y'all for watching. Hope that helps. If you got any more questions, go ahead and hit my post-war mixtape. Like, sub. See y'all later.